Give it up for Raquel Willis. All right, hi everyone. I know you are amped and ready to go. I promise I won't take too much of your time. And before I start, I want us to take a second and look around. Look at all of these people who are gathered here to take a stand. These are your partners in resistance and liberation. And today, y'all are making a commitment to each other and to a new vision of liberation. Now, when I was younger, my father used to always tell me, walk like you know where you're going. I thought he was just trying to be deep. I didn't know what he was talking about. But when I was 19, he died, and I quickly learned what he meant. He was no longer my guidance and my safety net, and that loss pushed me to figure out exactly who I am and the life I wanted to live. I found my voice. And today, I stand here with my mom as a proud, unapologetic, queer, black, transgender woman from Augusta, Georgia. I'm more than those labels. I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, an auntie, a friend, a lover, a human, and a feminist. And so I want to stress the importance of us being intentional about inclusion. I think about historically trans women of color like Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson who lit the fire on the LGBTQIA rights movement. And they were quickly kicked out and erased. They share a common thread with Sojourner Truth, another revolutionary woman. And just like her, black women, women of color, queer women, trans women, disabled women, Muslim women, and so many others are still asking many of y'all, ain't I a woman? So as we commit to build this movement of resistance and liberation, no one can be an afterthought anymore. We must hold each other in love and accountability.